Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a word paper cutout effect in Adobe Illustrator. This is a method that works for any version of Illustrator above CS5. So with that, let's learn how to make this picture. Okay, so we begin with an artboard that's 1900 by 1080. Easy. Okay, we're gonna draw a shape over top of it like this. It doesn't matter what color it is. I'm using these five colors, the same ones that I used in another tutorial in the sidebar. And we're gonna use the pencil tool by pressing N, double clicking over here, and you want a fidelity just above accurate. We're gonna draw four lines, okay? The first line, we're gonna make it very squiggly, like this. Okay, make it go across the entire line, across the entire shape. And I'm running out of space, there we go, perfect. Okay, then we'll make another line that's a bit more smooth, just below it. This. Like that. Good. I'm just going to select both lines right here and give them a stroke just so we can see them. So I can see exactly where I'm drawing them. And again, another line that's quite squiggly. And bring it close to the line above. Again, the shape doesn't really matter. Like that. And then once more, another line that's smooth. Like that, perfect. Now make sure that all of these lines are drawn outside of this artboard, okay? So let's select all of our lines, go to the Pathfinder tool. We're gonna press Divide, and there we go. Our line is ready. Now we're gonna click on our shape, right click, and go Ungroup, good. Now using the colors that we have right here, we're gonna give them these colors. So give a green right there, then a lighter green, a yellow, an orange, and we'll keep the dark color up there, the dark blue. Good. Now having done that, we're gonna select all of our shapes right here, and we're gonna go, actually we're gonna select these four shapes and not the shape below right here. And we're gonna go to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. Again, simple default settings, seven, seven, and 75. It gives a pretty realistic drop shadow once it loads here. Very slowly. Okay, good. So it gives a decent uh, drop shadow here and press OK. Now we're just gonna rearrange these. So you don't see the drop shadow right here and that's because it's below it. So we're gonna arrange and bring it to the front. There's the drop shadow again, arrange, bring to the front, select this, arrange, bring to the front, and last but not least, arrange, bring to the front. Cool, so now we've done our background shape. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a box over top of this entire thing. It's the same 1920 by 1080. And I'm just gonna take it off for a moment, hold shift. And you're gonna select a font. So in this case, I'm gonna press T, select right here. And I have chosen a font size of about 500 in this case. And the font that I chose before was century, 20, 20th century MT, like that. And I chose bold. You can use any font that you like, but this is the one that I chose for this tutorial. We're gonna choose bold and I did simply write dream, just like that. Okay, so you write whatever you like, make sure that it fits inside your artboard. You can center it in your artboard by selecting both and going align vertical and horizontal. So that's in the center of your piece and you can also adjust it to here to kind of see roughly where it would be and it overlaps with all the shapes. 
If anything, we can actually get that color to go down a bit. So we can select this and just extend it by pulling it slightly like this and it's gonna recalculate the drop shadow and that way we get some of the blue at the top right here oh, you know what actually we're gonna leave it we're gonna cancel that good okay so that's canceled anyway we're gonna select your select your word now go to object expand so we're going to make our word into an object, just like that, into a shape, sorry. Then we'll select our word and our background. And we're going to go to Pathfinder and divide. Good. Having done that, we're going to right click on our shape, go on group, and we're going to get rid of this black area. Or not even, actually we can leave it and just select it, hold shift and move it up to here like that actually we do have to get rid of this black area if you have any of these little letters so little spaces like that good now I'm gonna select the entire thing like that now hold shift move it up to here and I'm just gonna align it for artboard like that perfectly good now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a drop shadow to this text by going to Effect, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. And again, we use the same settings as before. I press Preview, give it a moment. Please don't freeze. It's freezing. There we go. And press OK. Great. One final thing. So we see some of the Drop Shadow. There's the Drop Shadow right here. You can make it a bit stronger. So in this case, Actually, I will make it a tiny bit stronger by going to Appearance, double clicking Drop Shadow, and let's move it up to 15 and 15. And press OK. Now give it a moment while it will load. So again, I just selected all of the shapes, went to Appearance, and then you can always double click and change the effect in there. And that makes it a bit more dr dramatic. Last thing, I'm going to press M, select make a rectangle over the entire shape. Then I'm going to select everything, right click and make clipping mask. And that gets rid of the shadow on the outside of the box. Super simple. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can make something really cool out of it. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos. We have a few different types of cutout, uh, paper cutout videos. And of course, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below and have a great day.